Oh, off you. Uh, sorry, Alan, you're still on your thing. Thank you, everybody, for uh, for your comments tonight. There was a lot of great ideas. Um, uh, I don't want. Well, I'm going to pick out a couple. Uh, the last we we're just talking about there. Um, municipalities. How can we advance uh, natural gas in this province? Um, I could. We we could actually do a session on that alone. Um, and uh, I. I don't want to tie any more time here because we're almost coming to the end, but uh, that's certainly an interesting one. I've given that some thought. We had a project here in Inverness County about 10 years ago, and it went off the rails and pretty badly. And uh, anyway, I'd like to share some of that with you at some point. I noticed in the uh, in the chat there was some mention of, of nuclear power, and I don't know what people think of that. It's a controversial subject. Uh, but it's certainly uh, seen by a lot of environmentalists as one way, maybe a regrettable way, uh, but a way to come off of fossil fuels. Uh, some countries like France have 80% of their energy, I think, coming from nuclear power. Uh, New Brunswick is doing it, has been doing it for years. Um, and Dave, I'm seeing you make a, a comment there, and Dave could probably give us some more background on that as well. Uh, that's almost, uh, could be worthy of some discussion. Uh, that would be a real game changer, um, and uh, I, uh, I, I think also there was a fair bit of talk about uh, green jobs and how efficiency Nova Scotia, which was originally conserved Nova Scotia, uh, introduced by the conservatives, progressive conservatives, uh, about 15 years ago now almost, um, how how that's made a real difference. And we're third in the country in this province, and it's largely because of that thought of of how can we improve people's homes, make them more energy efficient, so it works. I think that was a great idea, and I think, uh, I know Mark Parent had a lot to do with that, and I think uh, that's made a huge difference for our province. And, you know, when the NDP were in power, they increased our power rates by 25%. Our bills went from 12 uh, cents per kilowatt hour up to 15. And, um, but a lot of what insulated people from the impact of that and what the real impact would have been was the work of Efficiency Nova Scotia in giving people rebates for heat pumps, uh, switching out to LED bulbs and having uh, more uh, better insulation, more energy efficient homes. So um, great discussion. I, I, I want to I've made some notes and uh, great to have your ideas because we have to have people thinking out there and sharing ideas because uh, that's what opens our, our eyes and our minds. And at the end of the day, that's what people want out of the opposition, is ideas. They want to vote for something. They don't always want to just vote against the government. They want to vote for something. So thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, Alan. Thank you very much. Um, we, it's like a, we've got a two minutes left. Tim Hallman, any thoughts, or Murray, if you just want to quick thoughts to, to end us off. This is uh, some really, really good points that were raised, given that, given all of us uh, have a lot of ideas to put forward. In particular for me, in terms of Nova Scotia being a hub of innovation when it comes to post-secondary, I think that's an area that really, we can really focus on. Uh, I remember about 10 years ago, we lost one of the leading neurosurgeons, uh, Dr. Igor Mendez, to Saskatchewan, because Nova Scotia couldn't compete in terms of uh, the neurology facilities we had here compared to Saskatchewan. And, uh, I've never forgotten that. And um, we, we, we have a lot that we can do to innovate here. Uh, we have uh, unbelievable universities and research facilities and we can build on that. So for me, that's, you know, I've taken away a lot, but that's one thing that I'm really starting to think about. Uh, certainly my real house, as you know, is, is education. So thank you everyone for, uh, for your great input. Thank you, Tim. And Marie, any quick last thoughts for us before we say goodbye? Yes, thanks, Rob. Um, just, I would echo uh, much of Alan's closing comments and Tim's. One thing that, unless it was brought up in the first um, seven minutes or so until I joined the um, call, another area that we really have to focus on is immigration. Um, I know it's something that our leader, Tim Houston, is big on, and rightfully so. I hate to keep going back to what's close to home, but at CBU, they saw their international students increase their um, students count by 2,900 people. And it was, to say it was transformative, 
for the area, the CBRM, would be an understatement. Uh, prime, and that's a prime example of the impact immigration can have on investment, on ideas, on diversifying our communities, and stimulating growth. Uh, perfect. Thanks, Murray. And I know we've got Keith Bain. Uh, I'm going to save an introduction just to let you give us your quick thoughts. If you can hear me, uh, I just don't see you. Where are you? Keith left. Keith left. Oh, okay. So Keith has Keith has left. Well, thank you. I mean, we are time. Uh, obviously, we could go probably another hour, if not longer. Um, we, we're record. We've recorded the call. Maybe something I should have said to start, but. We're, we're taking notes. Uh, Hamish Falcon over my right corner is feverishly making notes as well. And so, you know, with the interest by uh, our current leadership in policy, in what your thoughts are on policy, I'll say this is a fantastic opportunity for not just my committee, uh, our committee, but also everyone in the party to uh, help guide the Nova Scotia PC party toward winning a next election by knowing what policies are important to growing the province and what people want to uh, get behind. Our next call is, up, again, uh, this coming Tuesday, the 24th, 7 o'clock again. Jim will send out another Zoom invite with all the info, and it is a very hot topic, affordable housing. And uh, just maybe we'll talk about how many units and what located. We'll have to see. Thank you, everyone, for joining. I really appreciate all your input, all your time. Thank you much. I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great week until then. Thanks. Bye. Bye for now.